Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on SQL scripting loops and different types of loops. If you have not gone through my recent blog on SQL scripting uh, series and, and videos, uh, I would recommend you to please go through that because I have captured lots of detail there. Let's start with the demo. So today in this demo, I'm going to use the same database SQL scripting and the same uh, schema public. Let me set the default role in the warehouse and the database and schema. Now, uh, there are multiple types of uh, loops uh, in SQL scripting we can use. Uh, one is the counter based loop, the normal for loop where you can uh, run the loop based on the counter you want and uh, you can just ex uh, exit based on the satisf satisfaction of the or the completion of the counter another would be the for loop so you can create a for loop uh, based on the cursor so you can use a cursor and then you can loop through that cursor the number it will loop through the number of records in the cursor using the for loop you can also use the while loop which is very uh, famous and then you can also use the repeat loop which is a bit new in snowflake it might also be available in other database uh, but uh, it's uh, it's a bit new for me uh, because i'm from oracle i don't see that this kind of a repeat uh, and, and repeat loop and then you can also use the loop loop so today we are going to see the five example how we can uh, use the loop so first let's start with the counter based so here in the counter based, uh, we will use the for command and then we will initialize the variable with increment value of like one to the maximum count. So maximum count can be any numeric value. So I have just created this variable and I have initialized this variable with the five, which means this loop will, uh, this will loop for five times. And every time I'm incrementing the counter and when it will count when the count of this counter will be at five it will exit the loop so do the for doing this uh, loop either we can use the loop command and end loop or we can use the do command and end for so that way we can use so these are uh, so, uh, like uh, wise statements so alternate so either you can use the do command and if you use a do command you have to do the end for and if you are using the loop command, you can use the end loop. For me, it's uh, loop and end loop is more uh, easy because I have I am used to with this, so I am going to use the loop and end loop in that uh, examples. So let's execute this uh, NMS block and see what is the output. So here you can see it, the output is five because I was just incrementing the counter on every loop. So I have set in 5 and if I change it to 10, you will see that the output will be 10. Right. Now see if you want to use the cursor, so how you can use the cursor. So we have a separate uh, demo defined for all the cursor and result set, but this is a very small example how you can use the cursor. So in the declare section, you have to declare the cursor. To declare the cursor, we will use cursor name. So we basically that's the variable which will hold the cursor value and then the cursor keyword and then for command and then your select statement. So select statement can be any, any select statement and then you can use the for C2 in C1. Basically C2 is the result set for this cursor C1. So here we are using the cursor C1 which we declared and we are taking the cursor value into a result set and then looping through this result set and populating the variable and then I am using the construct uh, branch construct if else condition and if this condition matches I am just returning the value of that variable so let's execute and see what is the output so if in my condition if the schema name is public it will just return with the schema name public a very simple example of cursor based on for loop so see schema name is public Similarly, uh, if you want to uh, use the loop based on while condition, so while loop always check the condition before it execute. So whenever it will come, it will first check the condition and if it satisfies, then only it will allow you to go inside. 
if it doesn't satisfy it will not allow you to go inside so what i am doing here is basically i am declaring a counter with a value of 1 and then i am declaring a value uh, another uh, variable with a value of 10 what i am trying to do i am going to loop through five times and every time i am just reducing one number from the value so if i am passing 10 and if my counter value is less than 5 that means it should go for four times so because i have already initialized as one so it will go for uh, until it is less than five so that means four so if it goes four times it should uh, reduce the number by four times that means if i reduce 10 by 4 it should give me the output of six so that's the simple program which will give you the insight that how the while loop work work in sql scripting in snowflake So here you see that the output is 6. So if I change this to say 7, it should give me 3. Yes, correct, 3. So that way you can use the while condition where you want to validate the condition first before you allow them to loop through. Now uh, there is another uh, loop which is known as repeat loop and where the body of the loop always execute at least once. So here you will see that I have again set the counter value with a variable. I have declared a variable called counter and set the value at 5. And then I have also declared another variable which is known as number of iteration and then I set the value of 1. And then I am repeating this and incrementing the counter on every uh, loop and then I am again another number of iteration i am also incrementing the number of iteration so counter is decre decreasing and number of iteration is increasing and here the condition is getting out when the counter value is zero so condition is at the end so here the condition likewise it's it's, it's same uh, like while loop but here the condition will check at the end so it is always uh, true that it will execute the body of the uh, uh, it will execute the body even if the condition doesn't meet so at least it will execute the first one time because the condition is checked at the end so the body will execute once and then it will ex uh, exit the loop or the uh, if the condition doesn't meet and at the end it will return the variable value so let's see what will be the output here so here you can see the value is 6 because we have set the counter value to 5 and we have initialized the value with a variable of 1 so it uh, if we initialize the counter with 5 that means it will always execute 5 time and on the 6th time it will execute but it will uh, exit the counter when it matches with 0 so 5 plus 1 that means 6 and at the uh, end we have the loop loop the loop loop is a, uh, a different type of uh, loop where we have to forcefully terminate the loop so here there is no condition uh, on which the loop will look and exit the uh, criteria so there is no exit criteria so here you have to define uh, the exit criteria and you have to forcefully break the loop by using the break keyword so in this example i have not given any condition for this loop i have just started the loop i have initialized the variable with the five value and then i started the loop and i have just uh, like checking i am just checking that if the condition is matching with the value of two then i don't i want to forcefully uh, terminate the loop else keep on continuing so here if i execute this it will go and loop for two times and then it will break the loop <coughs> <coughs> sorry so here you can see the value is 2 because it because i am forcefully breaking the loop over here so if i say if i increase this value to 4 it will output will be 4 here so that's all about today's demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel thank you